our hearts. It is only you that can do it for us. Unto thee, O oh Lord, we do all things are possible. As our worship has ascended unto you, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor for accepting our worship. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, we have to worship you. Amen. 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 Okay. We are going to pray so that the preacher person, let us pray for the preacher person so that the word of God will come because we need the word. So without wasting time, let us pray for the preacher person with one accord. And I the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, may your way come forth. Father, may your way come forth. Spirit of the living God, this is empty vessel. May you use me. May you use me. Sanctify me and the rest of the members on the land. Let your word come forth. Father, this is what we need. We have prayed in the mighty name of you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. For your word, that is what we need. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Beloved, let us be standing and I pray, and then we will sit down in the presence of God. Heavenly Father, this is another day. Father, come and take control and let your word come forth. Spirit of the living God, this is an empty vessel. Speak through me and let your word come forth. Father, we need a word so that the word will sanctify us, so that the word will be written on our heart. Father, let your word come forth. Oh, we magnify you. Father, this is the day that your word is coming forth. As you said, all things will pass away, but your word will be there forever and forever. Unto thee, O oh Lord, let your word come forth. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Beloved, let us all be seated in presence of the Lord. Prophet is, he was moved. So we are here to do the work. So beloved, with one accord, the issue I think will go on. The message is coming, and after that, we will do the prayer point. He has given us a word. And without wasting time, the title of the word is Run for Your Life, beloved. That is the title. And the message is taken from Genesis, the book of Genesis 39. And a 7 to 23. So, beloved, let us hear his way. Hallelujah. He serve a mighty God, the one who knows you and I. So, we will start to read Genesis 39. It's about Joseph. And the verse is 7 to 23. Let us hear the word of God. We give him all his glory. Amen. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph. And he said, lie with me, eight. But he refused and said to his master's wife, look, my master does not know what is with me in the house. And he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor he has kept back anything from me. But you, because you are his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Ten. So it was 
as he spoke to Joseph day by day, that he did not heed her to lie with her, to be with her. But it happened about this time when Joseph went into the house to do his work and none of the men of the house was inside that he caught him by his garment saying, lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and he flew and ran outside. And so it was when he saw that he has left the garment in her hand, he flew outside that he called to the men of the house and spoke to them saying, see, he has brought in to us a Hebrew to mock us. He came to me to lie with me and I cried out with a loud voice. And it happened when he heard that I lift my voice and cried out that he left his garment with me and flew and went outside, 16. So he kept his garment with her until his master came home. Then he spoke to him with a word like this saying, the Hebrew servant whom you brought to us came into me to mock me. So it happened and I lift my voice and cry out that he left his garment with me and flew outside. So this was when his master heard the word, which his wife spoke to him saying, your servant did to me after this manner that the anger was arose. Then Joseph's master took him and put him into prison and a place where the king prisoners were confined. And he said, and he was there in the prison, but the Lord, was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him a favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Beloved, this is the story about Joseph. We all know the story. He was sold by his brothers and he went to Egypt in a house of Pharaoh. And the wife, which is Potiphar, wanted Joseph to sleep with her. Beloved, when you have God and you fear God, there is nothing. The tempter will come to do things to you so that you will deviate from your God. And Joseph was aware. And Joseph, God was with him. He said, I cannot do this wicked thing oh. because Joseph feared God. And God was with Joseph. So this woman wanted to tell the husband, look, his garment is with me. Satan would do everything to bring a child of God, the one who fear God, down. But God is a God, the merciful God all the time. He is with his children. So beloved, they put Joseph in prison. But if God is for you, who can be against you? There is no one because God is in control of the life of those who fear him. So we all know what happened. And they put Joseph in prison. But God didn't allow Joseph to be in prison forever. What God has blessed, no man can destroy. Hallelujah. And we all know the story. From prison to be what? Prime Minister. What a great God we serve. What a mighty master we serve. He said, anything that I say about you, it will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. What a merciful God. We continue with the scriptures. Let us go to uh, First Corinthians, the book of First Corinthians. That is 1 Corinthians 9, 24, and the verses 24 to 25. We serve a mighty God. Amen. And let us hear the word of God. 9, 24, 25. And I read, do you not know that those who run 
in a race all run but receive the price run in such a way that you may obtain it 25 and everyone who complete for the price is tempted in all things now they do it to obtain and perishable crown, but we for all imperishable crown. Beloved, that's why the title of the message, Run for Your Life. He is telling us, and we all know, anyone who go for a race, they go there for what? A reward. So Christ is telling us, the more we run from sin and come to him and serve him in faithfulness and righteousness, at the end, there is going to be a crown. Is there anything too hard for our master Jesus, the owner of life? No. When he said we shouldn't do this and we run away from it, beloved, the tempter, the receiver has nothing good for us because we have run. He lay his devices every day. That's why he said we are killed every day. But the mercy of God, we are not dead. It is the hand of God upon our life. So beloved, those who run, they run to where? They run to Christ. So today is the day for those who doesn't know Christ. It is time for them to run and come and see the glory of God, the one who has saved you and I. We give him all his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. We continue with the message. And let us go to Philippians, the book of Philippians. That is Philippians 4, 7. Let us hear the word. Philippians 3, 14. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. With him, all things are possible. Surely. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. I press toward the goal for the price of upward call of God in Christ Jesus. This is about Paul. He keep on pressing on. In this life, you cannot stand one place. You have to keep on pressing, pressing, pressing because it's a race and you have to run for the price. And who is going to give you the price? Our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of life. Is there anything too hard for God? If you do anything for God, God will reward you in spirit and in truth. He is a merciful God. So Paul is telling us here, I press on towards the goal for the price of upward call of God in Christ Jesus. The more we press on, the more we fellowship with our Holy Spirit, the more we get closer and closer to our maker. What a mighty God we serve. So beloved in Christ, let us press on so that we can get the reward as he is coming to pick all his saints around the whole world and he will give us the reward. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. He is a faithful God. We keep on continuing. That is Hebrew, the book of Hebrew 12. And the verse is two. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, whom for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despite the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah. We look unto no man. We look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. As he is sitting at the right hand of God, interceding for you and I, beloved, what can us ask again is a mighty God. He laid his life for you and I. So, beloved, we have to know him. We have to serve him in spirit and in truth. He is a merciful God. So beloved, those who does not know him, this is the day they have to run because where they are, 
it isn't good. The destruction, it isn't good. It is time. But beloved, let us thank God for you and I. Someone preached the word of God to us and we accepted Christ and we are in him in daily basis. That's why the Holy Spirit is in us. What a savior, what a king, what a God, the mighty Jehovah, the one who knows us, our inside and outside. We have a self God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. We continue the book of Isaiah 26, and let us hear the word of God. 26, 3. You will keep him in a perfect peace. Those who mind is stay on you because he trusted in you. The more we trusted our God, is there anything too hard? He said, Acts in John 14, 14. Anything you ask in my name, I, the Lord, I will do it. Anything we ask, he does it from our infancy up to now, the age that we are in, who has taken care of you, who has taken care of me. It is only his mercy. It is only by his grace. And look at him. We go to our various works. We go here and there and the spirit of God. Take us there. And every day he provides. And every day he takes care of us. Who can do this for us? It is only Jehovah. The one who has called you and I. The one who formed you and I. So beloved, let us serve our God. And he said at the end, I am coming with my reward. For those who were able to do the work to the end. What a savior, hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. So beloved, let us do the work. Our work will not be in vain. No, anything we does for the Lord, he pay us. We continue in Acts 20 and the verse is 24. Let us hear the word of God. But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear in myself so that I may finish the race with joy and the ministry which I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. This is by Paul. He said he counts everything useless. None of them is worthy to him. It is good that he has to say that, that the race that is running is more important to do the work of God to the finish. It will be fearful thing that you do the work of God and that's not finished. And when you stand before him, he will tell you, depart from me, I don't know you. Why? Because you were not able to complete the race. You did not finish. And it is a fearful thing. When God tells you that depart from me, where are you heading to? The other side, there is a torment. There is not comfortable. There, the canker worms, there is what? Hell. And every day, the, our Lord Jesus Christ, the fire does not quench. So beloved, Paul is telling us, none of these things, Move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish the race of joy. Beloved, the more you finish the race of joy, your heart, your soul rejoices because you have done what the master wants you to do. What a mighty Jehovah, the king of glory covenanted God, a merciful God, the one who knows it, and anything he said, it surely come to pass. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. We continue because our God is so faithful. With him, all things are possible. So beloved, we read the book of 2 Timothy and it's chapter 4, verse 7. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I have fought 
the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. This is by Paul. He has fought the fight and he has kept the race to the end. So this afternoon, the word is telling you and I, we have to keep on fighting, fighting. Because brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against principality, powers, darkness, domain, things that we don't see with our naked eyes. So Paul is telling us this afternoon that he has fought his fight. So beloved, now where is Paul? He has finished and where is Paul? He is in paradise. So it is you and I to do the same thing as he has done it. And God, the almighty Jehovah, has rewarded him. The place where you and I wanted to go, we have to struggle. We have to fight so that we can get the reward. And the joy of the Lord will be our portion. So this afternoon, the word has come forth. It is a time for those who does not know God. They have to run and come and seek Almighty Jehovah, the one who created them. They are playing with their lives. And when the trumpet sound, where are they heading to? They don't have any hiding place. So, beloved, we thank the Lord that this afternoon he has given us the word that we have to run the race. You and I, we have to finish it to the end so that our reward, we will get it. He is a faithful God. And whatever he said, he will do it for us. We give him all his glory for giving us a word. That is what we need. The end time messages. It's not all about prosperity because he said, all things will pass away. Only my word will stay. So this afternoon, we thank him for giving us a word. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor. So we will continue to, to, to do the work of God to the end so that our reward, you and I, we will get it. We give him all his glory. Amen. 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 Beloved, the word has come forth. We are going to stand and pray so that God will have mercy upon us for his word. So shall we be on our feet and then we are going to go to God and pray and tell God whatever he, we fall short. May he have mercy upon us. We are praying. We are going to go to God so that God will have mercy upon us, draw us closer, so that God will have mercy because it is only him who has the reward for you and I. So, beloved, open your mouth and pray so that God Almighty will have mercy upon us so that we will be close to him. And you can never be a one no. Never empire yourself at me. Jimmy Mopo, Jimmy O, Jimmy O, Jimmy. And never you, I'm more being Jimmy O. And you can never be a one no. Every day, Jimmy O, Jimmy. Jimmy O, Jimmy. Jimmy O, Jimmy. Have mercy over my soul. Lord, have mercy over my soul. Lord, have mercy over my soul. And there you go. Mummy Mopo, Jimmy O, Mummy Mo, and there you go. When I go back, I don't see him with so. And there you go. Mummy Timmy O, and to me, and where you go. Mummy Timmy O, and where you go. And there you go. Mummy Mopo, I go to. I <laughs> Yeah, what's your name? Yeah, I want to say, 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 I want to say,
and not yet lady, only mobile, only different, and never you, coming away, yes, 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 Only your mercy can do this for me. In the mighty name of you, Jesus. In the mighty name of you, Jesus. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. I didn't ask you to do it. And I will have mercy of us. Deliver me. Deliver me. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. The mighty name of you, Jesus Christ. They will transcribe it. Amen. 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 Beloved, let us be eager to pray because we are here to pray. Our next prayer, we are going to pray and tell God about many things that has become stumble block. You know yours, and I know mine. So we are telling Almighty okay. Jehovah, any storming block that is blocking us, we are telling the Holy Spirit okay. to lift it so that the way will be open for you and I. Let us pray. And <laughs>
So let us go to God and ask for this as he is a merciful God. And anything that we ask, he will do it for us. Let us pray. And then Mais tonton, on va dire. Ma on s'assoit, on s'assoit, on s'assoit. 
We are praying. We are going to God in prayer to give us the strength so that we can stand and pray fervently so that anything that we need, he said we should ask him. And the more he gives us the strength, we can serve him. We can honor him. So we are going to God and tell God, have mercy upon us. Give us all the strength, also the good health. So this afternoon, it is a privilege. He has given us. The honor has come. Let us grab it and let us pray. So let us go to God in prayer, ask about strength, and also give us a good health. Let us pray. And then we Mamma, 
to go to God in prayer, any monitor that monitor our lives so that we cannot move forward. They look into their monitors. God has given us a chance so that to dismantle all those monitors that monitor our life, that has caged our money, that has caged our identity or our destiny in their covens. He has given us a power to destroy it. So beloved in Christ, let us go to God in prayer. Any monitor that monitor our life must be broken this afternoon. Let us go to God in prayer. Let us pray. And every I'm <laughs> 
We are going to go to God wherever our destiny has been kept. We are asking God Almighty to release whoever has kept our destiny and also our finances. We work, but yet we don't see the money. So mm. this afternoon, we are asking God Almighty to have mercy upon us. Whoever has kept our money and also our destiny, may it be released unto us. Because it belongs to us. It doesn't belong to them. So let us go to God in prayer so that God Almighty will open every door that has kept our destiny and also our finances. Let us pray. And <laughs> I'm 
more to go we are going to the foundation you know where you came from your father's side your mother's side those ungodly gods that our ancestors or the generation before us they were worshiping these adults let us go there and break everything any incantation any libation they pour and mention our name we are taking our names out. We don't belong there. So beloved, with one accord, he has given us the authority to tread upon serpent and scorpion. So let us go to our father's side and our mother's side and break this ungodly ghost, those called fetish. Let us go to go to prayer. Let us go. And Thank <laughs> you. 
for him Amen. and to you oh lord we do all things are possible we thank you and thank you covenanted god in jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving amen amen, amen. beloved our last prayer we are praying for the pillar of christ and also for our prophets mm -hmm. beloved we all know that what our prophet is going through we are telling Almighty God to have mercy over our prophet. And anything that he has promised him may it surely come to pass concerning his residence. And at the same time, take your request to Almighty Jehovah and then we thank the Lord. Let us go to God in prayer. Let us pray.
Hallelujah. We give God the glory. At this time, if anyone need a corporate prayer, they can ask. Then we all will pray together. If there is no a corporate prayer, the next thing is if anyone has a water, they can bless it. So I have my water. Oh, I also I have a water. So Mama Gloria. Okay, Mama, I also have water. So Mama Gloria, we have water. May you bless the water for us. I put my hand. Mama, Mpacho, so Mama Gloria will pray for us on the water. Mpacho, you. Mama Gloria. Concerning a house, and that house, it wasn't a huge house, it was just a small house, and the roof was not on, on the house. So she said, Ah, prof, this is a small house. And she also said, I don't understand. So, anyway, prof is not here, prophet is not here, but he said another time when prophet come, he will bring the same dream so that prophet will let her understand the meaning of the dream because the burden was not completed. And no, there, there was no, there was, it's a, but there was no ceiling. There is no ceiling. Oh. A roof, roof, okay. only roof. Was, but me who you say, me can't say, I didn't know, I didn't know roof. Me can't say, I didn't know roof. That's your roof for my, your roof for my prof, your roof. Oh, okay. 
I don't know how so, to say it. That's a diary, yeah. Okay. She said first there was not a roof. Then mm -hmm. as she was talking, all of a sudden there was a roof on the building mm -hmm. for a prophet. So when prophet come, she will share the same dream and then there will be interpretation. Beloved, we thank God. We thank yeah. God. Let us keep on praying for him because every second or every another day, they will transform him. And it, it isn't an easy thing, not him alone, because the children, they are with him. And anywhere they go, they don't tell him that they won't inform him in advance. All of a sudden, they will come to him and say, we are moving you. So today, they move him to another location. As he got there, then he put the, uh, the machine together, and then we came on the line. So this is an easy task for him at all. So mm -hmm. beloved, when we go on our knees, mm -hmm. let us pray eagerly for him so that God will give him a permanent place so that there will be a testimony. Because whatever God has said concerning prophet, it will surely come to pass. But the enemy will intrude. So beloved, with one accord, let us continue praying for him all the time. But God will have mercy and there is going to be a joy and also a testimony. So this is what I also want to tell us all on the line. Amen. 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 And Mama Gloria, have you heard from our daddy uh, Augustine today? Please, please, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Debbie, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm doing a little better than yesterday. Okay. So, beloved, we will pray for our daddy again. God is in control. Because with God, all things are possible. So, beloved, though we pray for him, let us also with one accord pray for him, and then we will bring the service to the end. Because with God, all things are possible. What God has started, he will take it to a better end. So with one accord, let us pray for our father again. I want to pray for our daddy. Immortal everlasting father, you are a mighty Jehovah. Anything that you start, you take it to a better end. Father, you have started our father. You are doing a marvelous thing on him. The body belongs to you. Ancient of days, the captain of his salvation. We do all things are possible. And Father, our Father will come and testify that Almighty Jehovah, you are a wonderful Father. And we know, and we know, and we know that Father, you will do it at your appointed time. We do all things are possible. Unto thee, O Lord, 
all things are possible with you. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, that we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Give God the glory. At this time, if there is nothing, then we will call our soldier man to do or uh, to take to bless the service, and then we will share the grace, and then we will go. So, Jaman, we give the glory to Jesus. So the man <laughs> network phone. No network. <laughs> you see there? I didn't answer for and I you when I would to me at the end, you know, and you tell me, do you want him? Do you want him? Do you want him? How are the end? What's a swing of me? What's some you kill? What's some put a to me? And you tell me, I can pillar of Christ in my sassa for a day. Yet that was said, that was said, that was said. And you tell me, and you want to know why? We are more poor. I want the end. Now you're to me, you want to see. Na ever die, which we a juma sini, and unti an eye, ope, and ye pay. Nay, a jina one you want. One can say free a so called. No one can say about one no coffo, and not one no coffo. Money a juma pa wire, when he has so. If he's a wood to me at the end, I yet thou hast say, I am your yammy, yet you are ye, ye mow so, and unti an eye, ope, and ye pay. When ye are born home pay. And I'm what do moja, what she agrees. So, would they Christ to a brother in us? So, yeah, that was said in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Amen. Beloved, God bless you all. We shall meet on Friday. So, beloved, bye bye. So, Yaman, bye bye. bye, -bye. Mama Gloria. Everybody. Betty, Augustine. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Everybody. Thank you. Everyone. Bye -bye. Everybody on the line. Bye bye. bye, -bye. God bless you all. Bye.